Screencast 43, a preview of Dynamics AX 2012 report deployment. Now, the last time I talked to you, we had a report here called BI Demo Sys User Log. And what I wanted to show you today is how to deploy that report. Now, to prove I'm deploying, I'm going to always be going back to Report Manager under the Dynamics AX folder. And let me refresh to prove there's no reports up there. Okay. So let's do the first deployment. And there are three ways to deploy reports. The first is within Visual Studio. The second is within uh, the AX development workspace, the client. And the third is with PowerShell. Let's do them one by one. First, let's do the AX dev environment. Now I have two reports here. I'll start with the very first one. I right click and deploy element in the AOT. You'll see the info log comes up, status success. Let's close the info log, go back to Report Manager, and refresh. There's the report. So it worked. Let's delete the report. We'll go back to the AOT. How do you deploy more than one report? And that is very simple. You simply multi-select, right-click, deploy element. InfoLog says both the reports were deployed. We'll verify by going to Report Manager and refreshing. Perfect. Now we see two items. I'll go ahead and delete them again. Let's go back to Visual Studio. And of course, I, you know, you'd think I'd be able to right-click on a report here and hit Deploy, but there is no Deploy button, nor is there one here on a report, but there is a Deploy on the project or the solution. Right? I'll stick with the project for now. I'll right-click, Deploy. In the output window, you'll see a lot of this text here, very similar to what you saw in the info log. And at the bottom, you'll see success. We'll go to Report Manager, which is empty. Refresh. There you see it. Now let's delete it. And I'll show you how to de deploy more than one report from Visual Studio. It's very simple. You just need to get the report you want into one of these, these projects. And I want this one, BI Demo Far East Content, which is a test report I've been working on. So I'll right click it and I'll add to project. Now you'll see it's here. And again, I can't right click on it to deploy, but I can deploy the project. So right click, deploy. And if you pay close attention to the, the text at the bottom uh, of these items, you'll see that both have been deployed successfully. And to verify, again, we go to Report Manager and we refresh, and there they both are. So I'll select them and delete them to clear them out. Now PowerShell. So we had a lot of requests for uh, making deployment scriptable. And there were a lot of other requests about you know, helping supporting IT administration of AX in a scriptable manner. And we did that with reporting by creating PowerShell commandlets. Now instead of launching PowerShell directly from administrative uh, tools or something, or uh, you, know, you might try doing it from PowerShell here, if you do this, if you do it this way, you won't get the commandlets. You can manually do it. I'll talk about that in a future screencast probably. But the easiest way is to go start, administrative tools, and then find this item, not Windows PowerShell modules, but Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 Management Shell. Click on that, and there comes three different modules, right? Each has commandlets. The reporting commandlets are in the longest the one with the longest name called Microsoft.Dynamics.AX.Framework.Management. So what are the commandlets? Now if we do get command, which is a standard PowerShell commandlet, we'll get every command. So if you want just the AX commandlets, let's do get command, and we'll say just from one of the modules, which is Microsoft.DYN star, and you'll see there are a lot of commandlets here. We'll focus on, uh, not all of these are report commandlets, but there are two that are among some others, and the, these two are the most interesting ones. The first is get AX report, and the second is publish AX report. So let's get all the AX reports. Get AX report. Actually, let's get the help for that commandlet first. Get, get help, get AX report. And you can see there's a parameter called report name, which is the, uh, the most important one for this, report, this commandlet. Let's clear the screen and let's go ahead and just get AX report, report name star, or you could type in the names of the reports. 
Now, the very first time you run this with a PowerShell or, or management shell, it may take a minute or so because it's caching all this metadata. It'll be a little bit faster here as in this demo because I've run this several times already prior to the screencast. There we go. And that took just a few seconds. And uh, this is quite a few reports. If I want to see them in a grid view, I'll just go, uh, you know, I'd go pipe it out grid view, right? Now, but, but before I do that, I'll tell you the best way to do this is actually, uh, because you don't want to always reissue this query, is to save the results of the query initially into a variable like, you know, reports. So it'll take the same amount of time to run, but what the information is essentially now going to be cached in this variable called reports. So it'll be, you know, I can look at it without always having to communicate to the server. So I'll do reports, and I'll out grid view. And here come all the reports with all the metadata. And there's quite a few. And uh, maybe in a future screencast, I'll show you how to filter the data. So you're only getting, let's say, the name of the report. And here are those two BI demo reports, right? BI sys user log, which is the one I created in my first screencast on IX2012. So let's see, go back to report manager, and verify that there are no reports there. Let's try to deploy one or both of those. So we use the publish the CLS to clear the screen. We'll use the publish AX report, and it has a report name a parameter as well. Now I could do BI demo sys user log like that. Let's just see what happens. And this text should look very familiar. You've seen that in the Visual Studio and as part of the output text. And what that should really indicate to you is that they're all sharing the same code. Now, interestingly, I'm getting an error here. And this error is a little bit mysterious. And I wanted to show it to you because uh, this often sometimes will happen with PowerShell. And this behavior will go away by the time the RTM product ships. But what's happening here is essentially that I need to, when I deploy a report, at least in this preview build, I'll need to run this management shell as administrator. So that's what I'll do. I'll uh, back to administrative tools. I'll right click and run as administrator. And let me open that up again. So, you know, before I did publish X report, I gave the specific report name, which is very valid. Just for simplicity, you know, you can actually use wildcards. So I can publish AX report dash report name. I could do star. And you know, if I had done this in, in X2009, deployed all the reports, it would have taken maybe 45 minutes to deploy about 200 reports. In AX2012, it will take about, I think, 10 minutes on just a normal machine to deploy almost 1,000 reports, right? So that's an amazing speed improvement. And uh, even, it won't be obvious, but it's also become much more reliable. Now, but I don't want to wait 10 minutes to do this. What instead I'm going to do is just do the two BI demo reports. Well, wildcards are supported here. You can do report name BI demo star, and you get just those two reports will come through. There you go. You see success and success for both of the Far East content report and the sys user log. Let's go up here and refresh, and there they both are, right? And, uh, you know, uh, one more thing I'll show you before I end the screencast is let's go back and get some of those commandlets, those AX commandlets, get command from the module Microsoft dot DIN star. And there's a thing called test AX report server configuration, right? And this is, if you ever have problems deploying, you just run it. Test AX, report server configuration. And uh, again, this actually will suffer from the same problem about needing to be run as administrator. If everything's true here, you're, you're pretty good to go, right? So I always recommend doing this first just to make sure that everything's set up and configured correctly, okay? So let's just recap what we've shown in the screencast. I've shown you how to deploy from the AX dev workspace, the client. I've shown you how to deploy from Visual Studio. And I've shown you how we have our AX management shell that lets you deploy via PowerShell, okay? So that's how we've really changed how deployment works in AX 2012. The deployment features are integrated in our user experience and integrated with PowerShell. We no longer have that separate 
deployment tool that AX 2009 had. And of course, things are much faster and much more reliable with AX 2012 report deployment. So that wraps it up for this screencast. I hope this is informative. If you need to talk about other things, want me to demo other things for AX 2012, please let me and the team know. We'd really like to show you what we've been doing. Okay, so see you next time.